everyone, Sherlock fan number one here with a positive movie rant slash reveal. And as you've seen by the title, today we are talking about a childhood favorite of mine, Pokemon 3 The Spell of the Unknown. Now, first off, as much as I loved this movie as a kid, I actually wasn't a Pokemon fan, believe it or not. I had never really seen the series or the other films. In fact, the only other film beside the third one I had seen was Jirachi Wishmaker. And honestly, these two, though I have little to compare it to, are probably my favorites of the franchise. So when I sat down years later to rewatch the third movie, I was expecting some nostalgia and some awing at how cute the Pokemon are. Because, let's be honest, these are freaking adorable. I mean, look at them. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so after sitting down to watch and experience this movie for the first time in years, what did I think? Well, let's talk about it. First off, let's do a quick recap for those unfamiliar or those like me who haven't seen this movie in several years. So this movie revolves around a young girl named Molly who is the daughter of a Pokemon researcher named Spencer, who has been researching legendary Pokemon, specifically these Pokemon called Unknown. And while stumbling upon a temple with mysterious images of the Unknown, Spencer is ultimately transported into a vortex leaving Molly, who is now grieving and confused, who ends up playing with the unknown pieces found at the site of her father's disappearance, and begins causing havoc around the city, as the Pokemon cause her dreams to become a reality. And one of those realities being a Pokemon she and her father used to read about named Entei, a Pokemon who Molly mistakes as her father, who ends up making every wish Molly makes into a reality. Thus, Ash and his friends must set off to save Ash's mom, who was kidnapped by Entei, and Molly from danger. This movie is as deep as it is beautifully done. The animation is pretty good for an early 2000s movie, and the emotional impact hits a lot different now that I'm older. This really is a story about how to deal with and accept grief, and how you need to move on and face reality, even when it seems scary and sometimes even impossible. It's a movie that really doesn't shove this message in your face necessarily, but it kind of leads you to think about it on your own. But all in all, it's a really enjoyable film, even years later, and will probably still be worth revisiting again in the future. So thanks so much for watching, and thank you guys for supporting and sticking around. Much appreciated. Bye guys!